Hello, hello, everybody. As many of you know, Gobi did an apt update last night. So, if my screen looks a little bit different, it's because I updated the app. Now, what I'm going to go over today, I've actually made a video for already in the past. A few days ago, actually. <laughs> but, they have changed the location of where to create custom colors using hex codes. So, now, again, some of you have not up updated your app yet, but eventually you will have to because the old app will no longer be, version will no longer be supported. So, I'm going to give you the new version <laughs> for how to get there. All right. Now, the home page is just devices now. That's one of the changes. Okay. Now, I'm going to click my right permanent lights. All right, now from here, I'm going to click the more tab, which is the three dots. Okay, it's already selected for me. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says color chest. Now that formerly used to be under the explore tab under the uh, color treasure bag. So now it's called color chest and that's where it's located. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna go over to color models at the top and select and switch to hex. All right, now we're going to go on Google and search for whatever you want. Now keep in mind, when you're making custom colors, um, these are custom colors for like your computer screen, for instance. When you're using those colors on an LED light, they tend to usually be a little bit lighter. So sometimes you may have to use like a few shades darker than what it appears or even set your brightness level down for it to appear how you want it and it also depends on the color of your house so but you can google anything like hex co colors for i don't know let's just say the grinch <laughs> christmas has passed but we love the grinch so all right let's see color hex okay it gives me all different options all right, and again, there's so many different sites, like as you can see. <laughs> so you just find what you're looking for and create a way. So I'm just going to, eh, let's see, I'll just use this one. That's fine. I don't need to create all of them. I'm just kind of giving, you know, an idea. All right, so if I want to create this first color. That's the hex code for it. I'm not going to use RGB because it's easier to find hex codes on the internet. So I'm going to go back into the app. It's 6CA06B. 6CA06B. Okay. Let me make sure it's correct because I have a horrible memory. 6 CA there yes okay I just created that first color as you can see all right now I'm going to scroll down to where it says save to my colors I'm going to click that now it's automatically going to give you complementary colors okay but for this I just want to save that particular color we created which is always going to be the very first one at the top so I'm going to click that hit confirm okay now you can make as many colors as you want. There's thousands of choices, <laughs> thousands and thousands and thousands. So have fun with that. <laughs> All right, from here, I'm gonna hit the back arrow. Now let's say I am creating a finger sketch, okay? There's two different ways you can do it from the shortcut tab or the DIY tab. I don't use the shortcut tab, so I'm gonna show you from DIY. I'm going to click the DIY tab, hit the blue plus sign to start a new one. The first thing it comes to is finger sketch. It's highlighted in blue, so that's how we know what we're on. Hit the yellow check mark. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you where the My Colors goes. I'm not going to make a whole DIY. <laughs> That'll be another video. So, all right. Now, for my fill color... I'm going to first click my background to off. I just do that automatically. Okay. 
fill color. Okay, when you click that, it's gonna come to this wheel thing. We're gonna click over, if it will cooperate, click over. Okay, there's my colors. All right, this is every color I've ever created um, and saved. So it's gonna be all the way at the bottom since it's the newest one I created. And there it is right there. So I'll click that green and then start creating my pattern. And this color, again, is going to be available for every single one of your lights. It's also gonna be available for every single type of DIY that you make, whether it's a chasing DIY, a finger sketch, a workshop creation, just a basic color for your light bulbs, every color. So it's going to stay in there until you decide to delete it, if you ever do. Anyway, that's basically it. So that's how you make a custom color. I hope you learned something today that was useful. I try my best. So I don't, and I'm having to keep up with this app update, <laughs> as we all are. Thank you, Gobi. No, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, be sure to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you're updated whenever I uh, make any app uploads. And feel free to comment under the video if you have any questions at all. I do see them and I do respond. And I think that's about it. All right, guys. Have a good night.